Uh, oh. I, I just think it's chaos, <laughs> and I just don't trust anyone. So you're in and Gloucestershire. That, in, yes, so we're not affected. But and um, we spoke a few weeks ago when you were asking about dogging your neighbours. Um, yes. I explained to you that my wife was in um, shielding. Basically, was in the shielding car- yes, ca- category. And now people are starting to say, "Oh, well, let's just shield the vulnerable," and that's just so simpl- simplistic. Um, it affects the family too. So I've got a five-year-old girl. I can't, you know, she wouldn't be able to shield from her. No, of course. Um, and so we've been very careful. I mean, and it's hard. I'm a self-employed photographer, and yeah. we've got a five-year-old that wants to see her friends. And, and my wife now, it just feels that she's a burden. Um, she doesn't and, want and to not, not only working. a burden, but she's also being rendered responsible for her own health, exactly. uh, as opposed exactly. to it being it's part not, of the yeah. national health, which is what these ghouls yeah. seem to be calling for when they talk about shield the vulnerable, but let the rest of us get on with it. All of these exactly. arguments carry some weight if there is a really first-class test trace and isolate system in place. In the absence of that, and I, I mean the letter that was everyone was getting very excited about last week, which I think you're referring to obliquely, this so-called declaration or whatever it was, when you actually looked at all the names that had signed it, Harold Shipman was on there. Um, I think IP Freely was on there. Um, uh, uh, Bubbles in the Bath by Ivor Windybottom was on there. I mean, when you actually looked, so the Daily Mail put it on their front page with a figure saying thousands and thousands of scientists and doctors have signed this great declaration. When you looked at it, you and I could have signed it. Yeah. And, 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 and that's, 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 that's where, where the idea to, comes yeah. from, that your wife should be somehow responsible for everybody else's health, let alone her own. But it won't just be her. It'll be, you know, myself, my five-year-old. She can't understand. She can't see her friends. She doesn't know why she can't have play dates. And we're obviously trying to be really careful. Yeah. Um, she, my wife recently told me of one of her friends in the same sort of condition as her. She got COVID and she spent three days in hospital on oxygen. I don't want that to happen to my wife. No, I don't want my I, daughter to see her mom like don't. that. I know you um, and, and it just really infuriates when I see my friends on Facebook saying, oh, well, a second wave is inevitable. The government are doing a good job. They're doing their best. Other countries are going through it as well. And I'm like, well, no, because we're doing much worse. And I thought we weren't allowed to compare with other countries anyway. I think we're allowed um, to again uh, now on some on some just, days. I haven't been able to keep up. Yeah, I, I just... I just don't know what to do to be honest because you know these are people that are in my life and i don't want to lose all these friends and stuff but you know for us it's a real risk it's not just a cold it's not just a flu it's it's a real well how, i mean i don't know either and i can feel in your voice the pain that you're enduring as a family and the pain that you shoulder as as the you know the person who has to make the decisions on occasion for your daughter you know in conjunction mm-hmm. with your wife yeah. but I, I, I mean i was with my mum at the weekend who, who shields as well more, more for age than specific medical conditions and, and she like you just feels increasingly fatigued and, and frustrated by it all but and yeah and then the play date thing of course if you could guarantee that your daughter would stay two meters away from all her friends and they all wore <laughs> she masks can't, she but can't. she's she's, she's, she's fine five. she's fine <laughs> she just doesn't and, you know, she's done really well over lockdown. You know, we had the six months of proper, you know, lockdown, didn't see anyone. Mm. Some of our friends were still meeting up with each other outside, outdoors, because that was within the rules, but we didn't think it was worth the risk. And, you know, she understood all that. And, you know, I just don't think it's fair on her, and it's fair on all these people that are feeling they're a burden. They, yeah. they feel they're a burden to their families and friends, and that's not fair. And we've got to this stage now where it's almost society saying, well, if it doesn't affect me directly or I don't see it affecting us directly, then it's probably just a cold or a flu. Let's just get on with life. And they and, and overlook the deaths that we've already had, don't they? It's quite incredible. And they overlook the fact that we've seen the published figures on how many deaths are caused by COVID-19 and how many are caused by traditional flu, for which, of course, we already have a vaccine. And yeah. I, I feel for you. I wish I could say something more comforting to you. I, I really do. I mean, it, it, it is helpful to listen to you and other callers kind of say the same thing. And, well, you know, that I'm not, this I'm is not reality, though. You know, no, you're not going crazy. All we can do is put, put the evidence and the facts as we know them in front of the country, because the more, you know, knowledge is power. But then again, of course, you have um, poor old souls like, like this who says... Um, <laughs> <laughs> there's no balance you need to hear other points of view so okay i mean in the interest of balance it, it, it won't kill you it's not dangerous and it isn't a global international pandemic and people like peter are, 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 are getting their knickers in a bunch over something completely nonsensical oh and also down with captain hindsight you absolute clowns <laughs>